Hi guys, this is Trish Vion from onlineinfluence.com.au. I just want to show you today how to set up your email address in Microsoft Outlook. You should have an email from the person who set up the email address for you, probably your web provider or somebody. Um, and in that email you should have the correct full correct email address along with a password. Now you're going to need that email because at some point you're going to have to copy and paste that password in. Now you're also going to need the password that your internet service provider has that you use. So for instance I'm with Big Pond so it's the password that you would use if you want to log into Big Pond to have a look at your mail. So that's two passwords that you're going to need and I much prefer that you copy and paste them um, because it's so much harder to make a mistake. Uh, if you just try and type it out it's very easy to get it wrong. So here we are in Microsoft Outlook. So I want you to go up to Tools to Options on the drop down menu and then in here I want you to go to Mail Setup and then here email accounts. Okay now you'll see here a list of um, accounts that I have coming into my Outlook account. Um, if you have a Big Pond account and you know you don't want to always go to Big Pond to get your email or any other provider um, you can set it up in here so that you can um, always receive your mail and if you've got a business email address like this one here trish at onlineinfluence.com.au the benefit of putting it in Outlook is that you can send the email via that address so it looks a lot more professional and of course you can um, personalize your email and I'll there's another video that shows you how to do that so first of all you want to go to new okay add new email account so leave it as this Microsoft Exchange blah blah leave that so go next so your name so here you you want to you know obviously put in your name I like to put my full name but that's entirely up to you email address now this is the actual email address that you were given so in this case I'm setting up one called Google at onlineinfluence.com.au and then the password see here it says the password your internet service provider has given you so like I said this is the one that Big Pond has given me or that I actually chose when I set it up so then they ask you to type it again now I know this off by heart so I'm not copy and pasting it but I recommend you copy and paste it um, and then you need to tick this button manually configure serving server settings okay and then next so leave that as it is click next so it's pre-populated with the information I put in earlier. Leave this as a POP3 incoming mail server. So in this case it is mail.onlineinfluence.com.au So that would be um, mail. whatever your domain name is. Well that's how it should be. And the outgoing mail server, that is your internet service provider. So in my case, it's mail.bigpond.com. Um, and here you have to put the username. Now this is where you'll need the username and password of the actual email address. So the username here is google at onlineinfluence com.au so in your case it'll be uh, mary at your domain dot com dot au or dot com whatever's relevant and the password this is the password that you're going to have to um, copy and paste from the email that you would have got about the setup of your email now I've already copied that so 
I've put that in there and make sure you tick this box here remember password that's a, an important one because otherwise every time you try to get your email it's going to ask you for the password and it's really annoying now I suggest you hit this little button here or you can just go next but we might come back to that test account settings so there that's finished now you can see it there on your list so that means it's going to come up which I'll show you in a moment but let's go back and send the test so we're just going to go to change and go back to this button here test account settings and it will tell you what's happening here the progress and yep there's our first little green tick and there's our second green tick now that means it sent you an email so you should get an email in your inbox just you know a, a simple little email saying this is from Microsoft um, so that's all good so we'll go and cancel that now close that now cancel now you will see that in this list up here of send receive um, see that's there it is there google at onlineinfluence.com.au so that's it guys that's how to set up an email in Microsoft Outlook I'll do another one that shows you how to personalize your signature because that looks really cool. Okay, this is Trish from onlineinfluence.com.au.